Hello everyone, this is Arpit. Good morning to all of you. Hope you all are doing good. So I've just started my day with a hot black coffee. Now usually when I start my day, I just make a very raw plan of uh, my day ahead. Like what all I'm going to do. Just a very raw plan. Uh, not sure because once you uh, get to the official work, you don't know what's going to come up. So just a very raw plan I make. So as of now, uh, I have not checked my mails. Uh, so the things in my mind right now is as I told you yesterday whatever tasks I have got for today I'll be sharing that with you I'll be completing that as well and second thing is as I told I'll be adding few use cases to our uh, Trello board so that our extended plan members can uh, take a look at it and complete that as of now only these two things are there uh, now rest will come up when I see my mails in case something has come up and obviously today is Friday so uh, we have a sprint demo as well so that is the reason I'm not planning much things today. We'll see. So I'll just go and hit the gym before I get started with my day. So I'm off to gym. Actually the gym is very close to my house. It's inside my society only. So although there is an open area in my society, so usually when I had to run, I usually complete 5 to 6 rounds of this itself which is close to 2 kilometers. But recently I twisted my ankle last month so I am doing my cardio on treadmill. This is my wife vlogging for her channel. So just in this building there is the gym. I am doing back and biceps today. So just came back from gym. Uh, now I'm going to check my mails just in case anything urgent has come up and if not I'll just go take my bath and we'll get started with my day. So I just finished my bath and uh, I was just checking my mails again. So apparently uh, the task that I got yesterday that I'll be discussing apart from that there is one uh, issue that came up so I'll be discussing about that also. So uh, Coming to my task that I have got today that is pretty simple. I am planning to finish it before lunch today. So the task is that uh, uh, the uh, mainframe files that uh, we are getting. So that are landing into one of the directory. Now uh, those files uh, are having a different countries data. So uh, it, as of now it is not necessary that uh, any one particular file is uh, coming from uh, one particular country. So let's say there are 10 files, file 1, file 2 till file 10. Uh, that in, in, in them only they can have uh, different countries of data. But what we have to do now for this task is that uh, we have to uh, save those files in uh, partition wise and partitions will be on the countries. So hope you get the basic uh, requirement. So that is the requirement for this task. So uh, I'm planning to finish it before lunch. And another issue that is very interesting I haven't had a look um, on the issue, just the requirement I understood. So uh, the issue is that uh, there was an existing uh, repository and uh, there were few changes uh, a person made in that. And now after that, the code coverage of uh, that repository is coming fine when uh, he is doing that in local. But uh, when it is getting pushed to the uh, Jenkins pipeline, uh, which is supposed to build that code and deploy uh, that is a ci cd uh, pipeline so in that uh, the um, build is failing and uh, because that build is configured to be uh, to reject the code if the code coverage is less than 80 percent so uh, the same same uh, config file is in his local also uh, but it is still passing so you can say in local the code coverage is coming above 80 but when he is deploying that to the pipeline, uh, when he is committing the code, uh, the code coverage is uh, dropping anything before uh, below 80 uh, because obviously that is failing. So I haven't checked the logs as of yet that uh, how much it is dropping. So uh, that is one issue I need to check how much it is dropping and why it is dropping. 
because the code is same so that is what i will be checking i haven't checked so first i'll get going with my first task uh, because otherwise that will uh, create a backlog again so i'll finish that and then i'll come to this issue and uh, i'll see uh, what i find and i'll share it so it's about uh, 12 30 now so i have finished my first task so now uh, the files are going into uh, the partitions as per the country the, the data uh, belongs to but again some or the other thing comes up now as i uh, push the code i sent that to qa after development your code goes to qa for analysis so now uh, they apparently are saying that the files you used are uh, pretty old that might, might be some uh, columns or something have changed so we they need to test uh, they have accepted the changes uh, that i made but uh, they said that uh, they will check on some other set of files which they are following up and i don't know by when they will get and by when they will give the confirmation that the code is working fine but according to me i think because i did all the circus on the um, column the country column only so i think uh, for the other files also it should work so that was one task one is done and now going back to uh, the issue that i told the code coverage one so i'm just going to analyze that and uh, uh, let's see how quick is it to fix and then i'll share you what was the issue hi guys so i just analyzed uh, the issue that i was talking about so apparently that's a pretty interesting one and uh, even it took a lot of time for me to uh, get the core of it so the issue is uh, pretty interesting uh, you don't see such issues uh, more often so uh, let me uh, uh, explain that to you on a uh, piece of paper then our used sheet let's reuse it so what was the issue so as i told you the issue was uh, a code is written and in local its coverage is uh, more than 80 percent but when it gets deployed to jenkins pipeline this is jenkins and this is okay local then uh, code uh, coverage i saw that got reduced to 61 percent so that's why it was failing because uh, uh, in uh, the config file of uh, jenkins that is in our code uh, the minimum requirement for sbt build was uh, kept as 80 percent so obviously once this doesn't meet this will fail but here it was running fine now um, it took some time for me i checked all the configuration file and what is happening here and there but the issue was not there let's see where the issue was the issue was there was one test case getting passed here but not here how come the test case was same then i uh, dug a little deeper that what is that test case so that test case was to test a method delete files okay so uh, there was a method written there was some specific scenario that uh, uh, the file should uh, if all the records exist or something like that uh, the file if it exists then uh, it should move to certain uh, copy the file to certain directory and delete file from a specific folder so that was the method and the test case which was written was for this method which was passing in local and not passing in the uh, Jenkins. Then I saw the logic of this method. So what the person had done in uh, the local project structure itself in the uh, test resources directory resources he uh, made some temp folders and kept the files in that some files of same type which were supposed to be uh, in this directory which were uh, supposed to be deleted so he kept uh, some sample files here and uh, he wrote the test case to run this method 
so this delete file should be called and then check this directory it should be empty or the file which he has deleted should not exist in that so as per test case it, it is fine it is supposed to delete here and then it should not exist so same thing he was testing in this test case but the issue that was happening as i told let's go back recall this once you run this obviously in your local it will pass because there are files inside this so this will run and uh, check the files and it will delete it the what pers that person has not done is first check if the file exists or not because uh, that was not the functionality of this method so when he built that in local this file uh, were found and this got deleted and the test case got passed and once he committed the code the code got pushed into the git repository and jenkins automatically uh, uh, picks up from there it, it's a cicd uh, tool so that's a continuous integration as and when you push the code there are triggers uh, from github to jenkins uh, which will see that this branch has new code so it will start building it now when jenkins start building it it runs this test case and that is the case that this uh, method is not um, updated to check the directory it just goes there and search some, some pattern of files and deletes it so when jenkins used to build it this doesn't find this directory because when it ran in local it already deleted it so that is why this test case was failing and due to this reason uh, he might have checked in the Jenkins first and uh, that person he hid few things so due to that reason what he did he commented out this test case because in the Jenkins log he saw that this test case was failing so what he did he uh, commented out this and from local he built skipping the test cases so now when the uh, test case was commented in Jenkins the coverage dropped so the issue was not exactly what was told to us when I dug a little deeper then I found that this is the case okay so such kind of thing also happens now to fix it what I did uh, in the same uh, test case this will uh, test this method but I introduced one more code I took this samples file and kept it uh, separately in another folder and I introduced uh, two more lines in that test case that whenever it comes to testing this it should copy from this to temp directory that's it just two lines it should copy from here to here now I'm copying the file from here to here then whenever this uh, runs I could have done uh, more things that uh, it should first check and all but uh, I didn't want to touch any other code so uh, just the minimal fix that I could do I have done that because it was done uh, much previously otherwise uh, we'll have to take uh, approval from who built it their manager and all so just uh, for the time being what what best uh, solution I could get uh, that I did two lines just whenever it comes the control comes to this test case it will copy file from here to here and following by whatever it was doing so every time this test case runs it will copy here and then delete it and then check here it will be empty so this will pass so yes this kind of things also happen uh, every time someone tells you the issue maybe he has done something wrong and he is hiding something so uh, or maybe he is not sure of what wrong he did so such kind of issues are also there so maybe the requirement that is told to you is not the actually one so you might have to analyze few things so it's almost 6 30 now in the evening and uh, very soon my demo call will be there it's very interesting to join the demo calls because uh, whatever you build anyways you have to explain that but the way uh, that is explained in a project is very hilarious that whatever is done and how in a very overhyped way that is being demonstrated to clients just that is a secret for every project i think you guys must also have uh, seen this so that is in uh, that is a pretty interesting call so uh, it's uh, just uh, on four or five minutes you have to give demo for what you build and uh, that's pretty much it and then just sit back relax interesting things you need you can see there that uh, what other people have built and uh, some overview of uh, the management level things also you get to know like what other people are doing so i'm just waiting for that call after that uh, i'll get ready for friday night that's just 
chilling at home only see you see you guys after attending that call so it's about 8 pm now all the calls are finished for friday and one more update that i was telling that qa team is still waiting for right set of files so apparently they still haven't got any so for me that's it for today we'll see on monday what file they get in case they face any issue now i'll uh, just edit all these videos and try to get you this vlog very soon so if you like this please hit that like button and please subscribe to gk code labs if you have not already done thank you guys see you later <laughs>